It's that time again. We're live on a mellow Wednesday evening. Six o'clock. Let's see what kind of answers, what kind of questions we get today. Let's add some sound effects here. So I wanna start off by talking about my story. Welcome, welcome. So basically, the story begins, I was going to college, I had a normal job where I sold cell phones, it was super boring. Um, I didn't like it very much. One day I came home to do some homework and I found this website called Fiverr where you can basically sell any sort of service, whether that's writing or um, programming or graphic design, anything you can think of. And so I decided to do artwork because I like to draw, I like to make art. And I started getting some customers. This was back in 2010. So I thought it was pretty cool, you know, getting paid to do something you love. And they made me wonder, what else could I do? And I'm not sure how I got the idea, but I got the idea to do voiceovers. Because I always enjoyed public speaking, like in college, I did some drama in high school. So I just, I just found it fun. And I made a, a gig where I offer voiceover services and didn't really think too much of it. Before you know it, maybe after about two weeks or so, I got my first order. I was a little nervous, but the customer really liked it. And here's the scary thing. I didn't have any equipment. I just had my laptop and I didn't even have a mic, believe it or not. I used the mic that was built into my webcam on the laptop, the little one. So I made it happen and I got a few more customers after that, then I got a, a few more and a few more. I invested some money into a really cheap USB mic, which was 50 bucks. And I got more confidence. I started learning how to edit, how to make your voice sound really clear and professional, which is very important. And then I invested into an even better mic, which cost $130. And now I have this mic here, which cost me $250. Um, it's a USB mic, simple. Um, plug and play, easy to use. And so I made this account because a lot of people ask me how to get started. They're curious about it. They're like, always wanted to do something different or maybe something on the side of their normal job. They wanna learn to make some extra money from home. Well, this is a great opportunity because there's a huge industry, there's a huge demand for this. You don't have to be a celebrity. You could have a normal voice just like me. And there's a huge demand for normal voices. So don't think you gotta have this golden voice that's perfect or that you have to have all this expensive gear or have like a fancy studio or anything. You don't have to have all that. Um, I'm a very good example of that. I'm a perfect example of that. I used to live, you know, when I started, I lived with my parents. I had basically a 10 by 10 bedroom and my laptop, my bed, and that's pretty much it. And I made it happen. I learned along the way, I got better and better. And now it's been about 13 years so I have all this experience recording voiceovers, editing audio, helping customers, all from home. And I can help you guys learn to do the same. And I've, I've been helping people along the way and it's really awesome to see people do something new, do something exciting, something different from home. Uh, so that's really cool. I think this is my fifth time doing a live on TikTok this week. Uh, so I'm still kind of fresh to the TikTok live scene, but Everybody's been really cool, really friendly. I encourage you to ask questions because that's really the life of this live is to answer questions because that's kind of, that lets me know what you guys want to talk about, what you want to learn. Uh, but that's pretty much my story in a nutshell. I started off with no equipment in my parents' house and I just learned the ropes. It's a great, I learned so much about the industry, how big of a demand there is for all kinds of voices male, female, especially female voices. Um, I work with my sister. I, I taught her how to do voiceovers as well. And she gets more requests than me. People even pay her more than me sometimes just because she has a female voice. Um, so female voice artists, that's good news for you. You have a very good edge in this market. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's a need for all kinds of voices, uh, young, old, you know, 30-year-old, 35-year-old, 40-year-old, 50-year-old, there's a market for your voice. And one person can't do all the voices in the world. So 
it's exciting. The, the pie is big enough for everybody. There's a slice for, for everybody to eat. So let's get to the questions. I'm excited to see what you guys are um, interested in learning about. And uh, I also made an educational course for beginners. I put a lot of effort into it because I, sh I basically, I, I realized that people want to learn like step by step how to do this. So I made the, an educational course for beginners that talks about how to set up the mic, the booth, how to discover your own style and your voice and everything, how to start recording. Um, very high quality um, educational content. Uh, the link is in my bio, so check that out if you want. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into the questions. Let's start at the top. So today's questions, let's see who we've got. What kind of websites can we go in order to do this? Uh, so the website that I used was Fiverr. A uh, very good website, it's very well known now, has tons of traffic, they spend tons of, of money on marketing. Um, but one thing I gotta caution is it's not about just signing up on a website, it's not that easy. A lot of people make the mistake of just asking for the website and making an account and nothing happens because voiceover is an art. Just like cooking, just like dancing, nobody's gonna be perfect on day one. You gotta actually dedicate some time to understanding the craft and training your voice and understanding how to bring a script to life. And it's it's pretty easy, but you, just, you do have to put in some time to kind of figure that out. So that kind of stuff is the, the things that I teach in uh, my YouTube content, in my uh, on my website as well. So very important though to understand the craft. I'm ready to do it. So what's the first step I need to do? You're already here getting the information, asking questions. Um, the first step is your voice. The voice talent is always the most important part of voiceover. How you sound, your confidence, how you interpret scripts, how you bring scripts to life, that's the most important part. More important than the mic, more important than the booth, than the website is how you sound. Because <clears throat> think of it this way. If um, you wanted to sell cookies, but you've never baked before, would you ask where the best place to sell cookies is? Probably not, that's not the right question. The right question is, how do you make the best cookies? How do you make amazing cookies? And then, once you learn how to make great cookies and, and you understand what people want, then you find the best locations to sell those cookies. So, become the baker, become the voiceover artist, train your voice first, make sure you have a good uh, ability to understand scripts and speak on the mic, and then, you can check out the websites. Would you recommend building a portfolio? And do you have any good examples for folks starting? Uh, yes, I do recommend building a portfolio. Any sort of practice in the beginning, especially, is going to be very helpful. Uh, so in the beginning, you're gonna wanna get example scripts online, maybe. You can even make some of your own. Um, but basically, you want to have a portfolio that you can show new customers. And then once you get real customers, once you get actual customers, you can use those, some of those examples to show future customers. But you do want to have a portfolio, even if you've never have had an actual order before, make one, make a portfolio. A uh, good example starting out, uh, I have some examples on my YouTube, um, Voice Over Freedom on YouTube. Uh, I have a playlist, just scroll down and you can check it out. But, um, Basically any sort of style, cart uh, cartoon, commercial, radio ad, narration, audiobook, so all pretty, pretty good stuff. Have you written a book about this? I've written some PDF guides. Uh, one of them is called Literally Where to Find VO Work. And it's kind of hard to find it because I don't openly advertise it very much, but I did write a guide on it. Um, if you check out my YouTube channel, I have the link in the bio in the description. So if you're interested in learning through written content, uh, check it out that way. Uh, great questions, guys. Appreciate the questions. I'm so interested in doing this. That's awesome. You're in the right place and you definitely should, especially if you're excited. If you feel a desire to do this, then that's a good sign. I think it's important to do something that you love, that you think is fun. AI can. So funny thing about AI is it's not that great yet. It's great, it's good, it's come a long way, but I've messed around a lot with AI, especially being a voiceover artist myself. It doesn't understand scripts. It doesn't know when to pause, when to emphasize certain words. It doesn't know how to communicate with customers. AI is good at 
saying it in one way and one way only just flat lifeless the voice sounds real enough but it's just it's not there yet so pretty exciting stuff though but i'm not worried about ai so let's keep going here fire emoji hello hello speaking facts thank you sir thank you for the round of applause there i tried emailing you I, I'm pretty sure I saw your email. I actually replied to it. So make sure to check your email again because I did. I'm pretty sure I emailed you. Um, but uh, check out your spam folder in case you're not seeing it. But it's coming from Chris at voiceoverfreedom.com. Uh, so then you can also DM me on TikTok here, but I'm pretty sure I responded to all the emails I got. Just check your spam just in case because some email providers accidentally put it in there so how can we tell if our voice sounds good <clears throat> it's kind of hard to tell but i think you have a you have you, you kind of have a sense of whether you sound good or not other people have uh can also give you feedback like your family members friends coaches um but the best way to know is if someone buys from you I guess another thing to keep in mind is that you don't necessarily have to have a perfect voice because there's a need for all kinds of voices. So you don't have to have like this amazing voice. You don't have to know that you have the best voice in the world. It just has, you have to know how to emphasize certain words, have a good, you know, diction, enunciation. Um, Basically, you have to understand scripts, and that's more important than knowing if you have a good voice. Because there's a lot of people that they don't necessarily have a good, you know, the typical good voice, but they have a unique voice or they have an interesting voice. And companies want unique voices and interesting voices. It's, it's crazy, but yeah, they, they want all kinds of voices and accents or other languages. How do we know if we have the right voice? So yeah, it's a similar kind of thing. Basically, you don't have to have the right voice you just have to understand, your, you have to discover your style, what kind of scripts you, you like and resonate with, and you have to practice so that you learn to enunciate, so that you learn how to you know, read at the right speed and do the right pauses. I have a setup. Now, how do I train my voice? <clears throat> um, so you're gonna wanna do exercises, practice exercises, like reading scripts out loud, reading in front of people, um, taking classes even um, check out my beginner course the link is in my bio it's a uh, learn to start recording in seven days and in there I have warm-up exercises I have exercises that help you sound like the pros and a whole bunch of other info in there and it's only 27 bucks so super affordable um, for anyone interested check that out Reading to kids, I make voices for the characters, but I'm not sure it's the same. Yeah, it, it actually is, it's the same thing. I used to read to my little brother and sister, and I used to, I used to read them kids' books, you know, before, um, you know, for bedtime or things like that, and it's the same thing. It's, you're, you're using your voice to bring a message to life, in that case, a storybook or a kid's book. So yeah, it's it's same concept, and I actually encourage that, read books, even if it's a children's book, that's that's great for experimenting and finding different styles. How much does it pay? So each job is different and you do get to set your own prices. Every voiceover artist sets their own prices, every freelancer does. Um, but my pricing currently is I charge per word count. So for every 100 words, I'll charge $35 as a base rate. And then you'll have to buy the license with uh, commercial or broadcast license depending on how you're going to use the voice so if it's going to be a uh, broadcast nationally you would need the broadcast and commercial license which is eighty dollars total plus the base word for the the words word count which is 35 so 115 or if they have say if they want 150 words then it'd be 70 dollars plus the 80 so 150 dollars so Imagine, you know, getting five of those in one hour, that's, that adds up. So, <clears throat> so let's keep going in here. Just subscribe to your YouTube. Very cool. Let's do a, just subscribe to your YouTube. All right, I'm just getting used to using the sound effects. It's kind of funny. 
There we go. Uh, can you do voiceovers if you speak fluent Ebonomics? Yes. If you're fluent, if you're if you can enunciate well, then I highly encourage it. Definitely something you should check out. Doing voiceovers was my childhood wish. Well, it's never too late. It's never too late to make your wish come true. Nice. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Problem is, uh, problem always tell me what a nice. Oh, people always tell me what a nice voice I have. Yes, if people are validating your voice and saying you have a nice voice, that's especially reason to do this. So. Do mics change your voice? They do. Every mic kind of changes it a little bit. That's why when you hear yourself back in like a recording or a voicemail, your voice never sounds the same. So it's kind of kind of the same concept. It changes it. Our ears are used to hearing it a certain way. When you hear it through a recording, it sounds different. And each mic does have different characteristics, but uh, that's a good that's a good question. Yeah, but for the most part, mics are, are a good representation of how you sound. So but it's not, it's not going to change it drastically. You're not going to sound drastically different from mic to mic. Not necessarily, I don't think. Uh, let's see what else we've got. I'm just joining. What kind of mic is that? I'm searching for one now. So this mic is the Blue Yeti Pro. It's the mic I use now to do all of my vo voiceover work. It's about 250 bucks, And it's easy to use, plug and play. I did use the um, more affordable version before this, which is called the Yeti, and that's only 130 bucks, so super easy to use, but I recommend USB mics for beginners just because they're just plug and play, easy to use, no hassle, no fuss. Thank you, I will check the beginner book. Yes, definitely check that out. It's um, on my YouTube channel. Any of my videos, just click in the description, there's a link right there, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll help you out a lot. Oh, we have a host, microphone host. Any recommendations for mics? Uh, USB condenser, any USB condenser mic, um, around 100 bucks or so is gonna be a good place to start. Um, if money's a little tight, then you could get away with something around $50. I did, you know, I, my first mic was 50 bucks. So don't let that stop you, don't let the mic stop you, but a uh, USB condenser microphone is going to be a good place to start. So, any of the blue microphones, the company blue is great. That's what I use. What mic do you, uh, how much does equipment cost? So, a uh, mic is going to cost anywhere from 50 to, you know, whatever, thousands of dollars. It could cost thousands of dollars. It doesn't have to, but a good beginner mic is going to cost around 50 to 150 bucks for a, for a pretty decent one. And then sound panels or any sort of acoustic treatment isn't too expensive. Um, you can get a, a good set of sound panels for like a hundred bucks. Uh, you can get some nice sound treatment to make a nice professional studio, recording studio. An acoustic panel will cost you around 80 to a hundred dollars or more. But you don't need that fancy gear if you're starting out. You can use blankets, pillows to make like a, a home booth and that will work as well too for starting out. That's what I did. Sometimes I still do it. It works just fine. Um, as long as you know where to put everything. Singing mics versus podcast mics. Any difference? Yes, definitely. Definitely a big difference. Singing mics are called dynamic microphones. Those are the ones that you hold, you know, with your hand and, you know, usually talk into directly into them, right? Or public speakers will have them propped up. Um, singers, right? Those are dynamic microphones, and those are designed to be able to withstand very high volume, screaming, singing, yet like yelling, without distortion, and retain quality. And so it kicks out a lot of background sound, a lot of it. Um, the difference is the podcast microphones, which are usually condenser microphones, are extremely sensitive, a lot more sensitive than, than the singing dynamic microphones. So a singer's microphone is not as sensitive as a condenser mic, as a podcast microphone. One is super sensitive and one is less sensitive, um, if that makes sense. You can't sing into a condenser microphone or it'll sound really, really uh, distorted and just 
it'll it'll be too much. Um, but you can sing into a a, a singer's microphone, a dynamic dyna, uh, dynamic microphone, no problem, no distortion. Uh, but those are some of the some of the differences. What computer software do you need to start? Audacity is a good one. It's free, easy to use. Uh, Adobe Audition is paid. Another good program. Um, GarageBand is also free. What else do we got? Do we have a video of booths? I do have a couple on my TikTok here, so check that out. I'll, I, I should be posting some more soon, so just stay tuned. If you haven't followed yet, make sure to follow because I'll be posting some of that. Uh, but great questions, guys. Thank you for all the questions and comments. That's really good stuff. Where do you get clients? Most of my clients I get from Fiverr. Fiverr is a really awesome website. It's beginner friendly, but it has all skill levels on there. Which want, that's why I like it. There's pros on there. There's beginners on there. Um, but you got to make sure you train your voice first before you before you go onto the website and sign up. Because some people think it's just a matter of signing up and that's it. But it's it's like I said, if if you wanna if you wanna sell cookies but you've never baked before, you don't wanna ask, where's the best place I can sell cookies? You wanna ask, how do I make the best cookies? How do I learn how to bake so I can make the most amazing cookies? And then you, you ask, where can I sell these? Where's the best place to sell these cookies? So it's kind of like that. You have to kind of master your voice, understand scripts. It's not hard though, like don't worry, it's not hard, it's, it's, it's fun. You just kind of have to dedicate some time to it. And again, for those of you interested in learning, um, I have a beginner's course, which is just 27 bucks. You learn what microphone to use, how to use it, how to make a home booth using any budget you have, how to discover your voice style, warm-up exercises that will help you sound like the pros, and how to start recording. And all of this is designed to get you up and running in one week. It's called the 7-Day VoiceOver Artist. So very cool. The cost of a large pizza. So pretty, pretty, pretty good investment. Uh, how do we take care of our voice tea liquids yes definitely water water is the best thing you could take tea is also very helpful uh, tea and honey um those are probably the best ones i can think of um, eating healthy is going to help you too but liquids liquids and also not screaming um, not exiting your your vo voice range too much um, that's going to help as well and what I mean by leaving your voice range is you know how you can get to a certain high note and after that your voice starts to cut out or strain? You don't want to talk too much in that range. So what do you do when you have a cold? You got to get better. You got to get better. Um, sometimes I personally, I'll just muscle through it and I'll get the work done anyway because I want to help customers. I don't want to keep them waiting. Uh, I mean, that's your personal choice. but. I think the best thing to do is rest and recoup your uh, voice strength. And you can tell customers that you can ask them for a little more time. And most of the time they'll, they'll give it to you. So that's no problem. But yeah, if, you're, if you have a cold, if it's, if it's feeling coarse or anything, you got to rest up. And you got you to gotta give it the time. Take that honey with tea. Exactly. Which software you use for recording? I use FL Studio. It is a little expensive, um, but it's, it's it's awesome um, there's free software like audacity there's also adobe audition which is another good one adobe product so pretty cool yeah 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 fl studio yep exactly exactly that's uh, fl studio they have different versions the recording version costs about 200 dollars, but it's a one-time payment Whereas Adobe Audition is 30 bucks a month. So tw what's 200 divided by 30? 369, it's about seven. 369, 12, 15, 18. So after six months, you've already paid more than 200 bucks. And FL Studio is a one-time $200 payment. So just something to put into perspective there. And Audacity is free, but uh, Audacity is a little bit, uh, it's not visually appealing. It's not very easy on the eyes. It's a little slower than some of the paid programs. Less features, 
but it, it gets the job done. And I did use it when I was starting out and it's free, so can't complain there. How can we communicate with you? Uh, send me an email or just send me a DM. Uh, the best DMs are um, you can send on Instagram. The best way to DM me is through Instagram. Um, voiceover Freedom on Instagram. I check those pretty much every day. Doesn't uh, FL Studio Audacity doesn't make a difference? Not really. The audio software doesn't really make a difference in the fact that they all do the same thing. But it does make a difference in things like your experience. One will be a little easier to use, a little bit quicker, prettier, things like that. For me, it's worth it to have FL. It's, 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 a, it's a paid program, but it's so much better. It's faster, it's quicker. Um, so just something to consider. Email or DM, Instagram, got it. Yeah, Instagram's the best. Just DM me on Instagram because I can send voice notes on there. And TikTok's a little weird on the DMs because they don't let everybody DM you. It's just kind of weird how they do it on TikTok, but uh, how many hours a week do you work? About seven or less. Usually it's one a day, tops. It's hard to believe, but it's true. A recording doesn't take too long. And I've also become very efficient to where I just, I know exactly, I've done it so many times that I got presets for my voice. The settings are already there. I don't need to mess around much. I just take out the mistakes, export, deliver, done. It's kind of like a chef in the kitchen when they're chopping the vegetables super fast. You know, they didn't start out like that, but after doing it so many times over and over again, they, they, they can do it lightning quick cause, just because of the repetition. So you're gonna get better, you're gonna get fast, but it's okay to take a little bit, a little bit longer up front. It's pretty normal. Thank you, I'm super excited, awesome. Yeah, I have a lot of good stuff on YouTube. A lot of good, uh, I also have a podcast I just started, it's on YouTube. So pretty cool. Thank you for sharing, uh, why am I tripping over my tongue so much today? Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Yep, for sure, that's what I'm here for. I guess Wednesday's kind of slow. On Saturday we had a huge audience, I think, Two nights ago, we also had a big audience of 200 people. Today, a little bit smaller. I think it's just about 24 of us, but that's that's cool, you know? I think all of you are important. Everybody, you know? You guys are my people. So I'm glad that you are here. Kind of hang out on a, on a Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Wait, is it Wednesday already? It is March 1st. So, so yeah, that's my story. I, I, I was going to college, part-time, studying art. I was working in a radio shack, selling cell phones and parts, and it was, it was not what I wanted to do. I guess I just kind of got lucky and found that website for freelancers, signed up, and, and the rest is history. I made a, you know, I, I made an account, and started recording voiceovers and 13 years later wait 13 yeah 13 years later here I am talking about my experience and answering questions about how you can do the same like it's it is really cool because I'm a normal guy you know I wasn't a special person with connections or agents or a fancy studio I, I was literally working a, at a radio shack living with my parents and I made it work with a you know a $50 microphone so I'm teaching the ropes, I'm giving you the secret sauce here. <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's see. Try installing FL Audacity on Mac. Yes, sir. I'm so glad you came on my For You page. Awesome, I'm really happy to hear that. Does it work on Mac? It does. Both FL Studio and Audacity both work on Mac. I would love to do voiceovers. Where do I start? I have a, quite a variety of voices. You're in the right place. Uh, just check out the link in my bio or, or go to voiceoverfreedom.com and that's a good place to get started. Um, or just ask me questions here. I'm happy to help and get you on the right way. But uh, I would love to do voiceovers. Where do I, oh wait, 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 did I answer that already? Yes, I did. 
What freelance website do you recommend? Fiverr, I use Fiverr, used it since I started. Uh, there's also Upwork, Upwork is pretty good. And uh, ACX is pretty good as well. Those are good websites, but make sure that you train your voice first, practice your voice. I go back to my cookies analogy where the first question isn't where, I, where can I sell cookies? The first question is how can I make amazing cookies? How can I learn to bake the most amazing cookies? And then where can I sell these amazing cookies? So there's a very important step that you shouldn't skip. Because if you skip it, you're just, you're not gonna get very many results and you're gonna feel discouraged and give up. And I don't want that to happen to you because I have seen it. People ask for the website, they go and they say, I made an account, all right, awesome. And nothing happens because, you know, they, they didn't learn the craft, they didn't learn how to train their voice and bring a script to life or even how to set up their profile. You know, it's all important things you can't skip. It's not just about knowing what website to go to. I'm just keeping it real. Uh, does it pay well? Yes, definitely. I think it pays very well considering how little time it takes to actually record it. Um, I think it's pretty nice, especially since I only work about an hour a day uh, monthly. On average, I make about three to five K, three to five K on average, working an hour a day. My best month was eight K, and uh, some people have made more. I know a guy that makes ten K, so that's easily over six figures a year, and. Um, you can do this on the side if you want. Keep your normal job, do this on the side, or just focus on this and make it your main thing. But there is a lot of opportunity here, so definitely well worth looking into. Do you speak another language besides English? I speak English, Spanish, and Portuguese. I just learned Portuguese kind of recently in the couple of past years, but if you speak any other languages, that means you can appeal to a whole new market. So that's, it's, it's a good thing. Si hablas español, es muy bueno. Which software is better for Mac? GarageBand is free, comes with Mac. Um, it, it just depends. They all do the same thing. But um, again, I'm just loyal to FL Studio because I'm a musician. And it's, it's, it was designed for musicians. But it just handles recording vocals really well. So I'm kind of a fanboy of it. But it's not, it's not, tra it, traditionally, it's not for voiceover artists, it's for musicians, but same, same thing, recording vocals. Um, but Audacity and Audition and Garage, GarageBand are more for vocals. More for vocals. Fiverr Upwork ACX. Cool, thank you. Yes, you bet. My kid has FL Studio. Do you know if I can share their program on my own laptop? You can. Yeah, they, they're, they, get, they have a license. You just need to have the same code. So just ask him for the license and you can use it on, uh, on your own laptop. I sing in the car and shower and I always play with my voice. LOL, English and Spanish. That's pretty funny. If you're doing that, that's a good thing because you can, that's, you're experimenting. Play is experimenting. So that's a good thing. Don't feel embarrassed about it. I do the same thing sometimes when I'm all alone in an elevator. I go, Warriors are number one. I'll do something like that, and then, you know, it'll be, it'll, you know, it'll be a little embarrassing in the moment, but, you know, it's, that's, how, that's how you make the money. That's how you uh, get better, is practicing different voices. Some of the projects I've done are, uh, for example, an arcade machine. I uh, was the guy that said, Game over! Insert coin to play again! Super fun love projects like that interesting projects thank you of course definitely yeah whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah I think I've, I've gotten all the questions here so very cool um, thank you for the love guys we're at 968 likes so likes are good so t tap that heart to give to give some love and um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about, oh, this is cool. Um, I did some traveling. A lot of people want to travel. And the cool thing about doing this freelance is that you can do it anywhere with a Wi-Fi connection. So that means you could be at your house. You could be at your dad's house. You could be in, on vacation in an Air, Airbnb in the Caribbean or Latin America. And you could still get voiceovers done. 
yeah, I did it for a year straight. No complaints. And uh, it was a, an excellent decision. I started off in Europe, did six months in Europe, and then six months in South America. If you haven't traveled, you need to travel. It's, it's amazing. It's so cool, like all the people you meet, the foods you try, the cultures you get immersed in. And uh, so I was doing voiceovers while I was traveling. I was literally like grabbing pillows and blankets and putting them up on the walls. I even put my mattress up behind me so it, it would sound isolated. And it was just the best thing ever. I couldn't do that with a normal job. But with voiceovers, I can record anywhere. I've even recorded in my car. Not that that's comfortable or ideal, but I have. And it just shows you the, the flexibility that you don't need to have a big expensive studio. You can record this from a lot of places. But the best is going to be in your home, in like a closet booth. So that's going to be the best place. In an actual built booth with sound panels. Which I have, but I'm not always home. So that's why I you know, create a booth wherever I'm at. And it, it, it challenges you too. But the mic does help too. The mic does help. All right, let's go back to the questions here. Looks like we got a couple more questions. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I laugh when I sing in the shower because of the echo. You know what's funny? Everybody sounds good in the shower because of the reverberations. And it's funny because that is actually an effect that singers use is called reverb and that's basically that kind of like echoey effect in the shower but when you're recording voiceovers reverb is bad that's why recording in your bathroom is the worst place you can record in because it's so echoey and re reverby and singing it's good we want reverb it makes it sound it makes your voice sound bigger and it blends in it blends it with the music more but in voiceover you don't want to hear any noise, just you and the voice. Just your voice, I mean. Just your voice, that's it. So, something to keep in mind. Uh, how do you get started? So, you want to train your voice, learn how to bring a script to life. Eventually, you'll want to make a demo reel, and then you'll slap that puppy online. Uh, if you want to learn step by step, kind of more in depth, I made a beginner's course. The link is in my bio. It's super affordable, don't worry, it's just 27 bucks. And uh, I actually teach you about the mic, the booth. I have practice scripts in there. So it's called Seven Day Voiceover Artist. And you literally learn how to start recording within a week. So it's a very efficient program. It'll save you a lot of time. Is it best to record standing up or sitting? Definitely standing up. Standing up is, is better because it opens up your um, diaphragm. You're able to mod move your body more. You're not as restricted as when you're sitting down, right? You're able to move a lot more and express yourself more. It's just more liberating. When you're sitting down, it's a, you're a little more constrained. So, la, 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 me, 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 me. See how I can move my body everywhere? Everybody. Um, good question, though. So Audacity is good for beginners. Yes, it's good, for, good, perfect for beginners and it's free to download. You find jobs online? Yes, I do. Fiverr, Upwork, ACX. Does the book also cover demo setup? Uh, the book doesn't really go too much into the demo. It talks a little bit about it, but it's not. The book's mostly about how to succeed online, like strategies you can use to succeed, pricing, royalties, understanding how the websites work. Um, rookie mistakes to avoid, which websites to avoid. It's more about the online space, um, which is really amazing information. Uh, to find that book, you just it's on my YouTube channel. You just look in the description. It's called literally where to find VO work. That's where you can find it. It's kind of hidden, kind of like it that way. That way only the people that really want it go and find it. But it's on there. It's on my YouTube channel, Voice Over Freedom. How do you make your first demo? Uh, so... To make your demo is not too tricky. You need to have, um, first you need to know why, the why, why, why you should make a demo. Your demo is like a business card. You're gonna be sharing this with people. People are gonna be listening to it and it's showcasing 
your skills, like your versatility and also um, what your voice sounds like. So you want to have different styles on there, like a commercial style. You want to have a narration style. You want to have a, like a documentary style, an explainer style, different styles. And you can choose five or six that you think you do the best at because there's, so, there's like unlimited styles. There's so many different styles. But as an example, I'll use commercial. This is my commercial voice. And then the guy next door voice like this. And so you just kind of pick five seconds of each style. You blend some music in with it to bring it to life, to make it sound like a real ad. And then you create a one hour to two hour. Ah, no, did I say one minute to two minutes audio file? And that is your demo reel. I don't know what's happening with me today. Yeah, 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 yeah. But awesome question. What should be the optimum distance between the limb, your mouth and the mic? Oh, good, excellent question. Um, so this is going to depend on the mic and the mic gain. The gain is the sensitivity control. Um, I, that's on the on the on this mic. It's back here. Like the knob controls how sensitive it is. Um, but a good general rule of thumb is uh, use stretch out your hand like this, and this is about six inches. Touch it to your mic, and put it to your mouth. That's kind of like a good general rule rule of thumb of how far you should be. But um, again, it does depend on the mic sensitivity. But me personally, I love that rule. It's so easy to remember, it's so easy to follow. And uh, you can also adjust your, your mic gain from there. So, kind of about six inches. Can you play us your demo? Oh, yes, I actually can play that for you. Let's check that out. You guys are in luck because I have my laptop right, right here with me. Other people this week have asked me, but I haven't actually been able to play them because play them the demo because I didn't have my laptop like with me but now I brought it so let's check it out so this is my demo that I made in I made this puppy what year did I make this I'm a little nervous now <laughs> but no this this demo is the one that I use to this day and it's it brings me cl clients and orders oh 2018 I made this woo, five years ago. I need to update it. All right, so let's hear it. Who's ready? Who's ready? Can you type um, type ready in the chat box if, if you're ready to hear this? So I want to make sure I'm not the only one excited around here. Uh, I'm going to answer a couple questions in the meantime. Uh, thanks. Cool, thanks. How do you transport recording? Save it? Uh, yeah, so basically how you're going to transport it or export it really is... Um, it's simple. You just go to file and then choose the format that you want to export it as. That could be an mp3, that could be a WAV file, um, a FLAC file, AUG file. I know, it's getting confusing, right? But don't worry, you don't need to know about these other files. The most important ones are mp3, which you already know about, you know, we listen to music on mp3. So mp3 and WAV files. If you want to know kind of the difference between both, uh, let me know because there is a big difference and you can actually one is more valuable than the other a lot more valuable I can tell you why and you can charge more for one than the other So I can tell you why it looks like ready ready ready. Okay. We got three people ready. Come on Can we get can we get two more readies in here? I need a little more excitement Guys, I'm, I'm showing you my demo reel. I haven't shown anybody. I haven't shown anybody this reel So I need, need a little bit more hype there we go. We got one more. One more ready. Let's get one more ready. Come on, guys. All right, cool. All right, we got we got enough people. So here we go. This is Dave. Dave is an independent hotel owner managing a 30-room hotel in Prague. His hotel has been family run for several generations. So what exactly goes into the home buying process? Let's take a look at the 10 steps. Step one, choose your real estate agent. Sit down with your chosen agent to discuss your real estate wants and needs. Downloading your new app couldn't be easier. For Android users, you'll have to enable unknown sources. To do this, simply go to your settings. Thank you for calling your tax solutions. All our specialists are assisting other clients. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message. We will return your call as soon as possible. Do you have a pyromaniac dad? 
loves to grill, but sometimes gets the flame too high, everyone will love to come to his barbecues when he cooks the food just right. Meet John. He wants to promote his new business. He soon hired an animation agency that produces amazing videos to explain his new business. Thanks for watching. Enjoy that video? Don't forget to like or comment below. Or, for more videos and trailers, hit subscribe. Also, so you've done your research and made up your list. Of matched employers, none have been missed. It's time to... Okay, so that is about a minute and 23 seconds. So my voice, dem my voice demo is about a minute 23. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, again, I made that in 2018. I need to update it because in those five years, I've improved a lot more since then. And I was listening to some of it and I'm like, uh, uh, I could have been a little smoother here. But again, we're, we're, we're our own worst critic. I'm sure you guys, um, you know, enjoyed that. But uh, as you can see, I use different styles. Like there was a voicemail at one point. At one point, I was like reading a storybook. At another point, I'm doing a commercial. At another point, I'm doing um, a radio ad. And it's not nothing too crazy. Like it's nothing that you can't do, right? I'm just a normal guy with a normal voice. And uh, you, gotta, you gotta think like this because I'm telling you, you can do this. You can modulate your voice. You can kind of make it sound unique and different. Uh, but that's, that was my demo reel. Uh, that's my first time I've showed anybody um, during a live broadcast. Just bought your course. Awesome. Welcome. Congratulations on um, investing yourself. I really respect that. And uh, if you have any questions, need any help, shoot me a DM. If anybody else wants to enroll, um, the link is in my bio. It shows you how to start recording, get your booth set up, um, discover your voice style. There's practice scripts in it. It takes you on that journey in seven days. So it's at your own pace and it's only 27 bucks. Large of a, the cost of a large pizza. Uh, did you have someone do this demo or did you do it yourself? I actually did this demo myself. And a question I get sometimes too is, should I make my own demo or should I have someone else make it? And I always tell them make it, you have, it's best if you learn how to make it yourself. Because if you go to like a, a sound engineer or a studio, and their ex, their ex. They're gonna expect what you advertised. They're gonna expect the quality that you advertised. They're going to help. Sorry, I cut out. They're going to expect the quality that you're advertising. And if you can't record and mix and master as good as that sound engineer, that might not work in your favor. So by learning how to do this yourself and create your own demo you can recreate that, that same quality because you made it. So you can recreate the same quality that you're advertising is what I'm saying. Because, you know, we've all been there. You know, you see the, you know, this nice big burger on, on the TV commercial, huge. And then when you get there, you get this little soggy, greasy packet. Bun is, you know, hidden. You have to lift up the bun to see if there's a burger in there. So it's like, come on, advertise, actually, actually give the customer what, what they're what you're advertising that was just a funny example but um good question so and it's not hard to do it's just you just have to know what to do where did you get the music from uh, i use soundstripe soundstripe is a paid subscription model um but there's also free music online youtube has a free music library um you can also google royalty free uh soundtracks it's just a little more hunting. Um, but yeah, there, there, there's, there's a bunch of them, a bunch of sources, but Soundstripe is one of the main sources that I use. Uh, very cool. Where do you get the scripts? Uh, the scripts uh, for the demo reel, you can either make them yourself, you can download some online. Uh, it was so long ago. Those scripts, I don't remember where. I think I, I used some examples from online, but I changed them up. And then I made some of my own. Um, so what I did was I listened to some real existing commercials and I just wrote something similar because I didn't want to use the same commercial. And I don't think you should. Just be a little more original. Change it up. And, and uh, you're on your way. In my beginner's course online, I actually include those scripts. I include 10 professional sounding scripts in different genres, categories, and uh, styles so you don't have to go hunting around and they're 
you can use those in your demo reel because I made them. So there you go. You don't have to worry about copyright. Uh, sound very fun with the music. Yeah, the music brings it to life. And uh, I got somebody that was, I don't know, somebody that was uh, asking me if you should keep, if you should make a demo with mu without music. Because they, they said that they had gotten someone that requested a demo, but they wanted it without music. And I told them, you know what? In my experience, most of my customers have been happy with demos with music, but it doesn't hurt to keep both copies. And you can literally mute the music with uh, the press of a button. So just have both. And what's up with this music? That's not what I signed up for. Hold on, I'm gonna change this music, but definitely um, keep the questions coming. Keep the questions coming. I'm gonna change the music real quick. Cause this is some, I don't know, this is sad music. Quick. Cause this is some, I don't know, this is sad music. I don't know, this is sad music. All right, and we are back. Are we back? Okay. All right, we're back. I think we lost, we lost some people, but I'm back. A lot better now though, so it was worth it. But we did lose like, what, 20 people? Keep the questions coming guys. I'm gonna keep answering them. These have been some good questions. I I I don't think I've gotten these questions on the other lives that I've done so far this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's hop back into the questions. Uh, totally getting the book, truly excited, awesome. If you have trouble finding it, just let me know, I'll shoot you a link, but it's it's in every description on, on my YouTube channel. Uh, does the course help us do demos? I do have a course that helps you with the demo. Uh, it's called VoiceOver Freedom. Uh, voiceoverfreedom.com but it's not a beginner's course so it is a higher price point because it has a lot more co content um, but I do have a course on that so if you if you are more advanced and you want to look into demo creation you want to look into marketing more advanced techniques just go to my website voiceoverfreedom.com do you coach or mentor I used to do it. I don't do it as much anymore these days just because I just have too many people asking me and I, there's not enough time in the day. Um, so occasionally I'll, I will do it. So if you, if you really want to, just shoot me a DM, but uh, I don't really do it as much anymore just because it just takes too much time. And to, you know, I want to help as many people as possible. Doing the lives is cool because I can reach a lot more people, answer a lot of questions and uh, but uh, yeah, just shoot me a DM and then, um, you know, possibly we could do something. How do you, how do, how do you do the work? Uh, so I record from home. I literally, I have this mic here, it's a USB mic, and I create a booth. So I, I'll either use blankets or pillows, or I'll use my actual home booth, which has sound panels and uh, an acoustic panel a lot more professional looking and I'll just record there and bada bing bada boom I'll edit it <clears throat> Soundstripe for music background cool yes Soundstripe is great it they do charge for a subscription um, unfortunately but uh, yes the music is high quality and there's a lot of websites that have like music subscriptions uh, what's another one I like Soundstripe because it is the cheapest for a yearly subscription for the highest quality music and you get license, they actually give you the license to use it commercially as you want. So I like that. Like, you don't have to worry about getting sued. Uh, <laughs> you can, you know, you have permission to use the music because they're granting it for you. So that's, that's kind of nice. So you can actually tell your customer you're using commercially licensed music and that's professional. It sounds a lot better than, uh, uh, I, I can download something off of YouTube. Cause yeah, it doesn't sound as good. <laughs> so let me just take another sip. 
You must not know about me. You must not know about me. You must think I'm acting. You must think I'm acting. I like voice acting. I like voice acting. What do you use to edit the demo? Uh, I'll use FL Studio. So any any audio software will work. You can use Audacity to make it. It, it might be a little hard to make it in Audacity, to be honest. Just because Audacity is it's just a little a little more basic. That's the kind of the kind of the con of having a free program is it's a little more basic. Just keeping it real. Adobe Audition is gonna be a lot better, but they charge 30 bucks a month. FL Studio charges 200 bucks one-time payment. So it's a little it's a little up there, but you can do it in Audacity. It's just gonna be a little, a little trickier, but definitely very possible. If you wanna have the easiest time, uh, look at my beginner course. Um, again, I have a tutorial, step-by-step. -step, I show you how to use the program, how to record, so that way you can save time and hit the ground running. Echo Studio, no, FL, FL, as in Fruity Loops. That was actually the name of the recording software when it came out, Fruity Loops, FL Studio. It's a software that was made for musicians, very high quality, very advanced. I'll be honest, it's, it's, it's gonna look into, the program is gonna look intimidating. That's the thing about um, advanced software like that, it, it looks intimidating, so. That's, I would definitely recommend using a tutorial, like following a tutorial for that, because it's it's really hard to figure out on your own. So, I have some on my website, or try YouTube. YouTube has, their, you know, a lot of information on there. So you can probably find it on YouTube as well. Only problem on YouTube is it's a rabbit hole, so you, you don't know what you're gonna get. Sometimes they just talk and talk and talk. And, but, I mean, the information's out there. Uh, thanks. Yes, understand. Time is never enough. Yeah. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Yeah, yeah. Here's the mic for anybody joining. This is the mic I use to record my voiceovers. It cost me about 250 bucks. Literally has made my dreams come to reality. Um, it's, it's a simple USB mic. I plug this into my laptop and I'm able to record wherever. So, pretty cool. You must not know. You must not know. You must not know. Whoa, whoa. You must not know about me. You must not know. Can you say again where you find the jobs? So Fiverr is the main one that I use, Fiverr. It's, uh, I like it because it is like any skill level can be on there. If you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, you can be on there. Uh, Upwork is also pretty good. And ACX is going to be great for finding work. I have heard a lot of people have success on ACX audiobooks. That's a, a website for recording audiobooks. So just remember the website isn't the first question. The first thing to focus on is training your voice and start getting used to recording, making the demo. I just, I don't want you to get discouraged. I want you to have success. And I have seen people that ask me all the time. They say, you know, what website do you get or do you use? They make an account and then they, nothing happens because they, they didn't actually watch the content and learn how to record and like find their own style. They didn't do any of that. So it's, it's there's definitely a couple uh, steps. Hey man, hey Canned Heat, thanks for showing up again. I remember you from the other live. I'm working on getting a mic, and once I do, I'm buying your course. Awesome, I look forward to having you in there. And uh, congratulations on making that decision. Does it take long to train your voice? It's kind of a tough question to answer. It depends, uh, it depends. Some people learn a little quicker than others, everybody's different, but I don't think it does take too long. It's not, it's like, like I said, it's like cooking. You know, nobody's gonna be a chef on the first day, but you learn pretty quick. You just need to learn how much, like the ingredients, how much 
to put where and how to do this and that. But once you learn the hows, it's simple. It's, it's, it's just talking with style. Think of it that way. You're talking with style. And everybody knows how to talk. You just need to learn how to add a little pizzazz. And that pizzazz, that style, um, you learn from you know, getting help, getting a coach, classes. Um, like I said, check out my beginner's program uh, on my website, voiceoverfreedom.com. Lots of different places where you can get the info. Uh, what's the first step in learning to do this? First step is training your voice. Then you want to get the equipment. It doesn't have to be expensive. I started with a $50 mic. Now you don't have to have a fancy studio. You make a demo reel. Um, some of you guys heard mine earlier. And then you slap that puppy online and you should be on, on your way. On your way. Just do the work. Practice, practice, practice. Very excited. Exactly. I completely agree with that. Do the work. You do have to dedicate some time to this. This is not a get rich quick scheme. I never said it was. This is not an overnight thing. I never said that. Um, this is a very viable thing. And normal people like you and me can do this. You can do this. If you can speak, you can do this. You don't need to spend crazy amounts of money on softwares and, and, and mics and boots. I did this with a $50 mic in my laptop. Uh, but the biggest thing I learned through the years was that you do need to have a good voice, like a good style. Like the voice really is the, the heart of this business. It's not the mic, it's not the booth, it's not the software, the website. It's, it's you, the voice talent. Uh, and it makes sense, you know? It makes sense. Uh, sweet, yeah. I think this could work well for me since I freelance already. Oh, perfect. If you're already a freelancer, you're, you have experience dealing with customers and everything already. So that is a pretty cool. Do you have to pay for jobs, booking fees? Nope, sure don't. You sure do not. The only time you would have to pay is if you had an agent, which I don't recommend. I've never had an agent. I've done research on them and I wasn't convinced because you have to give them a cut. They don't even bring you much work anyway from the research I've done. So, no, you don't have to put, pay booking fees. Um, some websites do charge you an annual subscription uh, or they will take out their commission through the work that you get. So, yeah. Talking with style. Yes, good slogan. And uh, who knows what movie I'm kind of uh, parodying. Does anybody know what movie I'm parodying? I think I think a couple people know. If you guys know what movie I parodied, that's I kind of like made my own parody of the slogan from a certain movie quote. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know what movie that is. You're talking with style. Uh, good book title. Yes, the book is called Literally Where to Find VO Work. I made it because I was getting so many questions about people asking me, where can I find work? Where do you find the work? What websites do you use? Um, what are the best websites? Which website should I not go to? Is this website good? Is that website good? Is that website good? What do you use? What do you use? What do you use? What do you use? Seriously, if you go through my videos, I get asked like which website I use. And so I said, all right, I'm just making this, this guide. And so I made that book. Literally, where to find VO work. And uh, again, it's not available on my website. It's only available on YouTube in the description. So, how many examples do you need on a reel for an audition? Uh, five to six, I would recommend, five to six. I think mine has maybe six to seven, but it was a minute and 23 seconds long. So keep it short and have a good variety of styles in there. Um, um, Toy Story, ding, 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 correct. Exactly, that's from Toy Story. <laughs> Super funny. Uh, the part at the end of the movie where Buzz and Woody are tied to a rocket that gets lit and it explodes and then all of a sudden Buzz expands his wings out and they start flying or gliding through the air and Woody says, what? You're flying! And Buzz says, I'm not flying, I'm falling with style. So. That's kind of where I got that quote from, is uh, think of it like talking with style. Because everybody already talks, you just have to learn how to add the style. 
That's, that's, that's huge. That's the crucial difference. Uh, what is the book title? I had to leave for a minute. It's called Literally Where to Find VO Work. It's only available on uh, my YouTube channel. If you click on any video and you click on the description, there's a link that says, want to know where to find the best, the best websites? And you click on that link and that'll take you to the website. It's kind of hidden. So basically only the people that really, really want it, find it. Because it's not on my website. It's not like in my bio it's not i don't even i don't even advertise it like i never even bought it up but it is a good very good guide um, for those of you that want to hunt it hunt it out uh what does the average job pay oh that's a good question uh, nowadays for me probably like 150 bucks on average or so could be more could be less but 150 for a job that's kind of a tough one to, to answer though because they vary so much you know I, I i get it i just had a project today for 360 which was two scripts one in english and spanish it really does uh vary but i mean you know that's good money you deserve it baby you deserve it you deserve it you deserve it, yeah, you deserve it, you deserve it, yeah, 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 you deserve it, you deserve it. Oh, whoa, well, whoa, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many do you usually do per day? Um, it depends. I feel like I'm answering every question with it depends, but it really does. Um, for me, maybe nowadays, three to four, maybe three to five on a daily around there sometimes it's five sometimes it's three sometimes it's ten um you deserve it you deserve it whoa you deserve it baby sorry i just got caught up in the music so it does depend but um you might get more than me or i don't know female voices are more in demand than male voices uh, the reason i say this is because i work with my sister i trained her how to do voiceovers and uh I have seen that she gets more requests than me and they even pay more for her voice just because she's a woman voiceover actor. You deserve it, baby. How do you get jobs? Yes, that is how you get jobs. You uh, put your voiceover demo online on Fiverr or Upwork and then uh, they'll send traffic your way. People will listen to the demo and they'll send you an inquiry, which means they'll send you a script and they'll let you know if you can do a certain style and they ask you how much you charge. Exactly. People just give you scripts to read. Yep. That's it. They got the script written out. You don't got to do anything else but record it into your microphone and bring it to life. So that is a pretty cool. I'm on the East Coast. Got an early AM. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for uh, popping in, Bellany. Hopefully we'll see you on another live. Did you create your logo on your Voice Over Freedom YouTube page? Yes, I did. Very cool. Um, well, kind of. I co-created co it because I actually had some help um, with someone off of Fiverr. I actually hired somebody off of Fiverr. Kind of cool. Um, but I did do, uh, I gave him instructions on kind of, I made rough drafts. I sketched it out and then I made my own versions. And then I'm, I gave the artist instructions. I said, look, this is kind of what I made. Make something. And then uh, I made some tweaks to it. And bada bing bada boom, there it is. But I don't like the, there's like a rainbow and it's like a, it's, it's supposed to be um, an, like an album, half of an album, like a record. I don't like it anymore, but it's, it's still there. I just think it, it makes the logo too big and it's just, I don't know, records don't have to do with voiceover. <laughs> but I, I made the logo, so it's there. How much is your course? 27 bucks. That's it. 27 bucks. I should be charging more for it, but um it's i mean it's really not not about that it's about being affordable and by being affordable you know you're able to more people are able to pick it up learn and i think that you know investing in yourself is a good thing because when you choose to invest in yourself you value that information so much more so wow this music is just really excited turn it to a club hey hey Turn into the club, hey, hey, we're in the club. 
talking about VO. We are in the club. Hey, we are in the club. Uh, totally see you on the next live. See you on the next live, Bellany. Great, thanks, definitely. Um, and uh, check it out in the link in my bio too. Like I said, it's a really, it's, it's giving you the road. For, if you're a beginner that wants to learn how to do this, it's gonna save you so much time. It's a step-by-step -step program, very comprehensive, has practice assignments, it's got the practice scripts in there, tutorial, step-by-step tutorial on how to actually record and edit your audio. I mean, I don't know, it sounds like a good deal to me. I just joined your course on day two. Oh, you're on day two. Love it. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, that is really cool. Congratulations. <laughs> no clapping sound effect. Congratulations on making that decision and uh, investing in yourself. And DM me if you have any questions. I always, you know, prioritize uh, my students, people that chose to invest in themselves, because I respect that. You know, you took action, you're in there, and that's, that's a very cool thing. Hey, 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 hey. We are in the club learning about VO. Um, what else can we talk about? So far we've been live for about an hour and 39 minutes. And we've talked about my story and I've answered all the questions so far. Talked about gear, talked about websites, demo reels. We talked a lot about demo reels today. I'm realizing that that is um, an area that a lot of people want to learn about so I'm gonna keep that in mind and this music sounds really loud doesn't it we are in the club we are in the club everybody put your hands up put your hands up put your hands up yeah put your hands up yeah put your hands up we're learning about B O. put your hands up yeah put your hands up yeah Put your hands up, we're learning about VO. Put your hands up, hey, put your hands up. Ask me any questions, learning about VO. Put your hands up, hey, put your hands up. Put your hands up, learning about voiceovers. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I got caught up in the beat. Um, but hopefully you were uh, grooving around with me too. I'm on day two as well, but waiting for my best buy to get my mic in stock. All right, let's give them a round of applause here. Everybody that is actually making progress, that took action, you get a round of applause from me. Um, and we have another person that says, just signed up. So congratulations on taking action. Won't be able to get anything else right away. Gratitude for this. Hey, I'm thankful to you and I'm excited for you. And as my way of showing gratitude, you have access to me to ask me anything you know like i said i can see who's enrolled in my classes and those questions and comments they get you know highlighted to me so i'm here for you like i'm going to help you and answer your questions uh can i do this in hotels yes you can um like i said i've traveled the world before and i was recording in my airbnb i was recording in my hotel where i just use blankets and pillows and and uh, it's very doable hotels are actually kind of quiet because they're they're carpeted. Is this music too loud, by the way? Um, let me know because um, it feels like it's a little loud. I sent you an email earlier. I believe I did see your email, Sparky Solutions. I believe I replied to it. So let me know if you got my reply. Um, check your spam as well because a couple of emails have been accidentally placed in spam. So, um, and DM me, because I want to make sure that my emails are coming through. Um, so yeah, the answer is yes, you can do this in hotels. Um, I've never had any problems, especially in hotels. They have a nice carpet, the beds are really big and fluffy, they have a lot of pillows, blankets are really thick, so it's super easy to record in it. Uh, some musicians even record in their hotel. One Direction, Lil Wayne, Pitbull. There's video footage of them recording in their uh, hotels. So hotels are, are doable. Uh, right, let me check spam. Yes, sir, check it out and uh, let me know. Uh, closets, closets, yes, closets are great. A lot of people record from their home closet. Um, Walk-in closet or just regular closet because it's, it's, it's nice because it's not too big and it's got clothes in there. The clothes kind of help with the reflections and the echoes, kind of dampens the reflection. 
So yes, closets are great. I recorded in my closet for years. Um, sometimes I, I, I won't use my closet. Sometimes I'll just record in my bedroom, but that's how it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. The closet, yep. Record in your closet. Record in your closet. You can record in your closet. You can record in your closet. Make sure to turn off the faucet, but you can record in your closet. Uh, what rhymes with closet? Closet, faucet, I got it. I got it, I got it. This is gonna be so fun. Oh yeah, this is the best job ever. Like, I don't even call this a job. Like, this is just having fun. You're getting paid to talk with style. Getting paid to talk with style. With style. You getting paid to talk with style. From home, from home, from home. I'm being silly. I hope you guys don't um don't mind that I'm being silly. Uh, what software do you use? Oh, here comes Kitty Cat. Um, I use FL Studio. It's a paid program. It's about 200 bucks, um, but you can use Audacity. I used Audacity when I was starting out. Um, sorry, she's uh, stealing the show. Meow. Uh, I guess she wants to learn voiceovers too. <laughs> um, but yeah, Audacity. Um, are you guys cat people or dog people? I'm curious. I'm both, so don't worry, you're not gonna offend me. What made you want to provide courses? Great question, this is a good one. Um, so, whenever I would talk with friends or people that I was, you know, anybody really that I was getting to know or I already know and I told them I do voiceovers, every single time they would say, wow, really? How did you get into that? How do you, how do you, how does one start? Like, they ask me all the, all the time, like, how can I start that? How can I do that? How can I do that? And I thought, wow, like, there's, this is interesting. There's, there's a lot of people that want to learn how to do this. And um, I saw uh, there was a, there was a content creator online that I saw who was actually uh, making courses one day. And I actually ended up buying that course for video. Uh, it's on how to shoot video. That's why my videos look really nice on YouTube and everything. Um, but I bought his course and and uh, I thought, you know what? That's kind of a cool idea. Like I got so much value out of the course um, because it's, it's basically designed to be tailor-made step-by-step. It has like downloadable files and content that, that um, it's, it's just so much better than YouTube. Because I, I spent like, you know, hours going down the YouTube rabbit hole. But that's kind of uh, how that happened is um, I just saw it as a cool opportunity. And, you know, the it's not that I have to do it, but, you know, 27 bucks here and there, it keeps me motivated to keep to keep reaching out. And I can, um, you know, I can keep showing up here because, you know, who doesn't like get rewarded for, you know, the hard work that they made? You know, everybody wants to feel rewarded and, and wants to earn money. Like, that's why we're here, to learn how to earn money. So if you have something you're good at, I think you should be paid for that. And I think a lot of people would agree that uh, feel the same way. So let's see. Uh, what if you don't have a closet? Um, some bedrooms would be fine. Um, I think the most important thing is uh, the size of the room. If it's 10 by 10 or smaller is probably best. Because if you have anything bigger than that, it's gonna be, there's a higher chance of echo. But uh, 10 by 10 or smaller is, is gonna be sound a little nicer, tighter, tighter sound. Uh, sound panels, pillows, blankets on the walls, it's gonna help a lot too. I think we lost pretty much all of the viewership once the cat got in the view. We were at 30, and then people, 14 people saw the cat's booty and said, all right, I'm out. <laughs> I just, I don't have the heart to, to, to tell her to Get out the way. Well, hopefully she's uh, not too distracting. But uh, let me know if we got more uh, more questions. The questions are great. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can we see your equipment? All right, I'm gonna have to have her move a little bit out of the way here. Here, I'll move the laptop instead. That's, that's a better solution. Yes, you can see my equipment. So this is the Yeti Pro, the mic that I use now. It's a USB mic, it's super simple to use, just plug and play. Before that, I used the Yeti, which is 130 bucks. 
And before that, I used a USB mic that was 50 bucks. Super cheap, super easy to use. So. So to my question about being a cat lover or dog lover, um, I'm both, I love animals. Yeah, me too, I love both. I'm a little bit of both. It's hard to pick, because dogs are just so, you know, amazing. And cats are just so tranquil. A beautiful cat. I'm here. Hey, Chris Poet. J Trinity, recap. Okay, I'll give a recap. Uh, she's so cute, me too, I'm still here, this is fun. Okay, good. Glad to hear you guys are still here. Uh, so, quick recap is basically, I used to go to college and work a part-time job, which I hated. I found a website online, just out of the blue, about freelancing. I didn't know what that was at the time. I signed up, and I didn't know what I was doing, but I was dedicated, I was determined. I did a lot of research on my own. And I didn't even have gear. Um, but I did start to record voiceovers on my own from home. Eventually I upgraded the gear to, I went from a $50 mic to a $130 mic, so don't feel like you have to have something crazy expensive. And uh, then I got this $250 mic, so, and I make thousands with it. Uh, I hate saying numbers because it sounds like I'm bragging, but uh, yeah, this literally changed my, this mic changed my life it, for the better. Oh, come on. Um, I love how low maintenance cats are. Yeah, I agree. I love that too. Have to go. Thanks for the info. Thanks for popping in, Gracious Pantry. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again on another live. And we're at 4,400 likes. So keep those likes coming. I appreciate the love. It uh, means a lot. I know it likes is just like, you know, it's just like, doesn't, it's just a like. But to me, a like is, is cool. It shows you guys are enjoying the content, so. And the rose, thank you Nochi for the rose. I really appreciate that. Um, and okay, maybe I like dogs more now because this, this, this cat is uh, <laughs> too much of a likes hog in the spotlight. Could you start on your phone or would you recommend getting a cheap mic first? Get a cheap mic, don't start on your phone. I mean, you can practice on your phone, but you're not, you're not gonna make a demo reel on your phone. You're not gonna get client work on it. So you can practice recording yourself just to you know, get used to hearing your voice, but that's it. Don't use your phone for anything else because if you do, you're gonna get discouraged and I don't want you to get discouraged. Invest in a mic, save up for a mic, even if it's just a $50 mic and uh, then you can get started in this. It's worth it. And besides, you're going to use your mic for everything. You know, you can use it for, um, you know, Skype calls. You can use it for vocals, whatever. Uh, say, I just popped in. What mic was that? This is the Yeti Pro. It's called the Yeti Pro. Yeti, like the, the abdominable snowman, like a monster. Yeti Pro. Why is your course just $27? It should be more, right? I agree. It should be more. Um... I should be charging, I don't know, 100 bucks, 200, but no, it's, I think it's good to keep it affordable. I think a lot of people appreciate that. Uh, eventually I will increase the price, but I think to start, just because I'm, this is my first week going live on TikTok. Uh, to start, 27 bucks is cool, just to kind of reward the people who take action, kind of hop on it. Um, but I will eventually increase it a little bit more, but it's, it's always gonna be affordable. Uh, I think it's important to have affordable content uh, uh, can you give us an example of something you've done yeah so I've done an arcade machines I was the guy that says game over insert coin to play again good job level two power up um, so yeah I'm that guy uh, one of the arcade machines I did is called tightrope it's a game where you're actually you're controlling this guy on a tightrope and you're trying to help him from falling and the, the controller is like um I think it's a wheel. It's a wheel like this. And um, very cool. So if you YouTube tightrope, you'll find it. It's on my YouTube channel too. Uh, for anybody that doesn't believe me, I know some people don't believe until they see. And I get that, but all it's all on my YouTube channel. It's all there. Uh, so is it hooked directly into your computer or do you have speakers? Oh, this? This mic is not hooked up to anything right now. This is what I record with, but for lives, on TikTok, I'll just talk into my phone. Um, 
I think eventually I will get like a, a portable mic, like a lapel, and just connect it to my phone. But for now, everybody seems to like this quality, but eventually I'll probably get something else. Will we be grandfathered in? Uh, so it's just a one-time payment. So if you already bought it, you're you're good. You don't gotta worry about any like any recurring charges or anything. It's one time, twenty-seven bucks, and you get the content and it's and the practice scripts and the tutorials in there. So um, yeah, you're you're part of the family. Once you're in, you're in. So don't worry about that. But um, if you're thinking about joining that, check it out. Link is in my bio. Um, get it now because this is gonna be the best price you're gonna see it at. Uh, what kind of info is provided? Tell me more. I just jumped in. All right, so uh, let's do another recap. Basically, you can record voiceovers from home, even if you're just a normal person like me. Uh, you don't have to have this special, perfect voice. A lot of people think you got to sound a certain way or have a fancy studio, have certain gear. No, no, you don't. Uh, there's jobs that need normal voices from normal people, um, commercials even. Um, the only thing that's missing is you need to learn how to price. Like A lot of people don't know how to do the pricing or how to train their voice to read a script, how to emphasize what words, how to discover what style is good for you, or how to record. So these are important things that you need to learn. Um, but once you learn them, it's not hard. You just gotta know what to do. And once you learn that, you can buy a USB mic and start making money from home. I literally, I literally work only an hour a day tops and um, make thousands every month, so it's sweet. Uh, let me see what else. I appreciate the affordability. Yeah, for sure. I think it's, um, you know, I think the important thing is that uh, it's accessible because it's, it's uh, a lot of good information in there. And again, there's also free content. So the YouTube content, there's, there's free YouTube content for people who, you know, they, they can't afford the program for some reason. Check that out, you know. I'm, I'm trying to help as many people as I can. I'm doing this live right here just... Because I like helping people out. I think it's kind of a cool way to find a community. And you, know, you guys are my people. And then for people who are more serious about actually getting this like going, then there's the paid program, which is only 27 bucks. And you know they get priority access to me, my DMs, and the best content is in that course. But you value what you pay for more, you know? Like if I, if I gave everything for free, if I gave that program for free, like people would just sit on it. And I don't want that. To make sure that you're successful, you have to invest in something, you know? When you pay for something, you value it more. You actually go through the content more. You actually pay more attention to it more. And that means you're gonna have more success just because you, 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 you invested, you put money, you put skin in the game. And I learned that through experience myself too. Like I have bought courses, I bought equipment, I bought gear, I bought you know a new laptop and I put money into this passion so I could learn it, so I could really learn it. And it paid off because I stuck with it. I stayed dedicated and I, and I got so much experience and now it's what I do to this day. Awesome. And let's see, we got more comments here. I'm looking at the course right now, very cool. Would you call yourself a voice coach? Uh, I used to do some voice coaching. Uh, it's not really my main thing right now. I consider myself more of a teacher because I'm teaching kind of right now and I've considered doing classes. Somebody brought that up. I have thought about doing that. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what the future has. But uh, I see that there's a lot of interest in this and a lot of people are learning and making progress and I think classes would be a cool way to help those people who are already, you know, making strides at this. Uh, awesome. Oh, what would the $27 be for? Um, so there's a beginner's course that I have on my website. The link is in my bio, or you can go to voiceoverfreedom.com. And the 27 bucks gets you uh, unlimited access to my beginner's course, which is starting, like, starting from the ground up. Your mic, your booth, how to use it. Um, no matter what budget you have, your voice, training your voice, warm-up exercises, how to sound like a pro, and a tutorial, step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start recording your very first audio. So it's literally, I'm setting you up for success. I give you the practice scripts. I give you the things you need to start doing this in the quickest way possible. So, you know, got, got nothing to lose there. It's pretty uh, super affordable. I got it. I got a little, I got a little janky little mic, but it works. What? <laughs> I got a janky little mic. That's funny. Uh, what programs did you start on? So Audacity, if, yeah, you know, 
I, I can't I can't hate it. I can't hate on that. If you got a mic, you're already ahead of a lot of people, you know? Can't make fun of someone who, who is, um, you know, making use of what they have. And that was me. I didn't even have a janky mic when I started out. I, I had no mic. I used the mic, my webcam mic, which is even worse. <laughs> so, Audacity, I used Audacity. I like it like that. That I like it like that. Sparky, can you send me a DM on this TikTok account? As soon as I get off this TikTok, I'll go ahead and um, help you out. So please send me a DM because um, I want to help you out and I want to make sure that you're getting my emails. Uh, are you in LA? I was born in LA, um, but currently I'm in Oregon. How many hours a day do you put towards starting out? Uh, good question. Uh, when I started out, it was literally as much as possible. I would get home, go straight to my computer and start just recording, recording, researching, learning, editing. Um, but I think the most important thing is put the time that you can put in without burning out. You don't want to burn out. You want to keep a good pace. So I think that's important. Uh, what program do you use to record? I use FL Studio. Um, it's a paid program. It's a little, a little expensive, 200 bucks, but um, I like it. Audacity is free. Um, and there's Adobe Audition. There's a couple other programs, um, but those are the ones that I've kind of researched the most. Uh, can you sing? Do you ever sing on any of your voiceovers? I do, I do. I do sing a little bit. And uh, you guys want to hear some of the uh, music I've recorded? show you some music if you guys want to hear it but um i do some of my jobs do require singing especially for cartoon voices i have uh i have sung as cartoon characters and i charge more for that so because anything specialty that requires extra work or special skill you can charge more for that and you should charge more for that because not everybody can do it and it's, it's hard to find so you should get compensated for Anytime you do something uh, special like that. How can I do this for Arabic? Uh, so you'll want to make an Arabic reel. It's all the same, no matter what language, you're going to make a reel just in your language. Um, and then you're going to want to sign up. Uh, wonderful voice. Do singing gigs pay more? Yes, you do. You do. Uh, uh, they do. I mean, they do, they do pay more. Cool, cool. All right, guys, we've been on for about two hours, so I, I do really appreciate everybody on here. Um, maybe I'll stay for about five more minutes or so and uh, see if we have any final questions. Got about 23 people, so I appreciate all of you. You guys are my people. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna have to get this course. I just started recording for my YouTube channel. You are true. You are chill. Yeah, definitely. And it's going to help you with your YouTube channel as well because you're going to learn how to record good audio. And half of the, you know, video experience is audio. So you're going to master good audio with the, you know, the mic. So So it's not just voiceover. It's actually speaking skills. It's actually audio skills, editing skills. So a little bit of everything. How do I do what I what ah See, this is how I know when it's, you know, when I've been talking too much. How do I do what you were doing? Uh, you have to create a reel. You have to practice, train your voice, and you create a demo reel, which has like your different styles of your voice to showcase your versatility. You sign up for a website like Fiverr, slap it on up there, and you're on your way. Get a USB mic. But I gotta, I gotta emphasize this. Your voice is the most important part. You as a talent, more important than the mic, more important than the booth, more important than the website. Most important thing is your voice. How you sound, are you confident? Do you emphasize the right words? Uh, how's your speed, how's your pitch, how's your tone, how's everything? Like your voice, bar none, is the most important thing. I said it, it's, it's I've been doing this for 13 years and it's truly what the first place to, the first thing to focus on is how you sound, how you sound. Uh, demo reel, looking that up and I was thinking that, 
Egg cartons, here we come. I've never used egg cartons. Egg cartons are super thin. Uh, I don't know if I can recommend them. It's better to use pillows because pillows are actually soft and absorbent. Um, I guess let me know how egg cartons work out. I, like I said, I've never used them. But they, to me, it just doesn't seem like the best solution. I guess better than nothing, but pillows. I use, I've used pillows. And I signed up. We will see what happens. I'm excited. Congratulations on investing, investing in yourself. I'm proud of you. I respect, I respect people who invest in themselves. And if you have any questions about the course of the program, send me a DM. I'm always happy to help. Uh, we've used them to record for singing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so if you've used it and it's, it sounded good, more power to you. I've just personally, I've just never used it. So I don't know how to speak on egg cartons, but hey, if it works, it works. Dance, do your happy dance. Woohoo, thanks, do your happy dance. Groove with me, move with me. <laughs> I think my dancing just lost like half of the people. <laughs> They're like, all right, I'm tired of seeing this guy dance. We're at like 14 people, so I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking through to the end of the live. Um, I'm gonna wrap up here, but I always like to do a little shout out at the end just to kind of thank you guys personally because I, I, it really does mean a lot that you guys stick around here and learn about the skill that I'm passionate about and I can share with you guys. So, Emza, it's Lisa All Day, Carrie, Matt Dillon, Chris Poet, Precious Bradford, John, Julia, Car Crew, Spark, I believe Spark Solutions, Bpo, Flower, K. Thank you guys for uh, being with me here. Keep on and thank you so much. Thank you guys. This was amazing. You guys are amazing. And uh, of course, if you have questions, let me know. Um, and we'll catch you on the next live. I'll be live tomorrow, same time, same place. And uh, make sure to check out the TikToks. Check out the YouTube channel, Voice Over Freedom. And uh, you can do this. So that's all I got to say for today. You guys have a good night. Get plenty of rest. Appreciate you. Thanks for the love. We got 6,000 likes today. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, you guys. <clears throat> Till the next one. Adios.